This is a cherry moya. I've never tried this fruit before and generally I like to try brand new fruits because it's always been a very interesting experience and maybe I'll find something I like. However, this fruit over in California is not very common. They likely have to import it. So I bought this at Sprouts. This thing costs $6 a pound and this thing weighs about three quarter pounds. So this is $4.50 right here. You can see on the skin over here has these little lines that makes it seem like it has really big scales, but really they don't really peel out or anything. It's just kind of like an imprint. And so let me just, uh, I guess, cut this open. I think I'm supposed to cut it open. Okay, here we go. Feels like I'm cutting into a pear. Hmm. Let me give this a smell. Very faint. I don't smell anything right now. I might be eating this wrong to some people. Probably should not eat the seeds. So I'm just gonna cut a piece out first. And... Now it's ready for my taste test. Okay. It's a little sweet, not very, very sweet. What's this like? Hmm. I have to say it kind of tastes like breadfruit. Breadfruit is this thing I tried in Hawaii not long ago. It turns out there's a lot of fruit in Hawaii that sort of have this, you know, it's not very, very sweet. It has uh, quite a bit of fiber in it and uh, it just kind of tastes plain. It doesn't have a very unique taste to it. Not like, oh, mango has mango taste. Orange has orange taste. This thing, you can't go, oh, it's chimoya taste. It's more subtle than being a pear because pear has a very pear-y like taste. Banana has a very banana like taste. This thing, texture is kind of like a mushier version of a pear. Not really kind of cross between a pear and a banana. Let me eat another piece of it because because I feel like I need to get another taste. So now I am taking out all the seeds like this. So I have all the little seeds out. Now I can uh, go ahead and remove the skin. Let me try it again. <laughs> Considering this thing is $4.50, that one bite right there is about 50 cents. It's not repulsive, it does not smell bad. It's fleshy, kind of like mango, but no mango taste. No distinctive flavor, not strong like banana, kind of like a very tasteless banana flavor. No banana flavor even though. It's not earthy smelling or anything. Gosh, what the, what is this like? I'm just cutting a little bit into it and then exposing a little bit of the seeds. And then I can um, remove them just like that pretty easily. Okay, all done again. Over here, I have a lot of seeds left and uh, two pieces of the skin. Sometimes when you have um, yellow dragon fruit, for example, it's super duper sweet. Uh, Japanese strawberries is super duper sweet. This one, this chimoya, it's not super duper sweet. Maybe it's like the type that I got. Maybe it's not ripe enough, but I mean, judging from the color on the outside, it should be pretty darn ripe already. I am glad I tried it, but definitely I wouldn't be craving for this just because I tried it one time. So thanks for watching this video. Even when the fruit does not taste super duper great, I still recommend to try, try them all. Like, it's such a great experience. I see this sometimes at the store. Sometimes I see pictures of it. So then now I can have a recollection of what the heck this thing tastes like. If it happened to be very good, then next time I see it, I can go, oh yeah, I remember I had it before. It was so good. Then I can buy some more. Wherever country that they sell this in, maybe they're going to sell it for really cheap. Then I kind of sort of have more knowledge. This is kind of like an attainment of knowledge type of thing. I don't know what it is. I go and buy even though it's like, $4.50. It's more like an admission fee where you try something. Uh, yes, it's a little bit more expensive, but it's uh, for the privilege of trying something brand new that's not around here. So thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this 
food tasting of this chimoya fruit. If you're interested in supporting this channel, I'll have an audible link down in the video description below where you can get a free audiobook. I also have a Patreon down there. Don't forget to push that subscribe button and ring that bell icon. Thanks for watching. There, I finished it. See? Eight pieces, all the seeds over here. After having it, I would have to say, well, would I have an apple or a chimoya? If I were to choose between a chimoya and an apple, I would probably choose a chimoya because it's more rare and I can't have it all that much often. Certainly, there are some fruits out there that are just disgusting where, you know, you would much rather have an apple rather than whatever fruit there is. For example, noni fruit. So that can give you a, the idea of how tasty this is. It's a little bit sweet. It's flesh, kind of like jackfruit style flesh or pineapple style flesh. There's a little bit of meat on it. Uh, not a very extreme type of flavor and not super recognizable. It's kind of like an underachieving fruit where it's sort of, you know, not this, not that, sort of average in a lot of different things.